Well, hello everyone. Here I am with another LEGO Star Wars 2024 review, and this one's on the Bark Speeder Escape that is now being released. So on the front of the box here, we which have the LEGO Star Wars logos and the uh, similar border that we've been seeing since 2022, and of course with the burnt uh, and the lightish brown kind of strip signifying Mandalorian, of course. And have picture of the set in action flying through Coruscant and all the minifigs included and recommended ages is 8 and up set number 75378 has 221 pieces then on the back side of which is have it have the bark speeder in a resting position and will fight a battle of the characters and both the features of it and the logos again and and on to the instruction manual of which kind of odd rendering like we've been seeing since 2022 of course and then transition from plastic plastic bags to paper bags add for the builder app and then how to win on the online survey and the pieces that come with the set of course and then the last building steps in. Not only the advertisements for uh, for earlier sets for that, but whatever. So first off, for the mini pick. So now onto the mini pick selection. <coughs> now, first off, we would have Grogu, a witch. Of which everything same as it's as he's been since 2020, so no need to mention that. Then of who's all new and exclusive is Calvin Beck, of which, which the torso print like printings of which look really good for how they are, and it was almost like some earlier Jedi mini figs and face printing, definitely workable with custom figs if you wanted. But yeah. And of course, wielding both the blue and green lightsabers as fitting to this sequence of the show, of course. And then as for the uh, 501st Troopers, where that, well, well, the printing's the same as the ones that came in the 501st Battle Pack last year, but the, or I mean everything of which, but that all of which, same as it's been, same as the one that came in the first 501st Battle Pack that came in 2020, but actually in the top part, like the one that came in in the one last year, and then helmet piece, same as 2021, but with the uh, accessory hole ports. So kind of odd how the combination of things that there are. But however, still great to have multiples of, and of course, do get two of it in this set, obviously fitting to this whole sequence. Although it would be nice if also could have included like a shock trooper also in this sequence but although the two file first troopers kind of do work out yeah and then underneath the witch face print same as from 2020 of course and then flip on to the back sides of them well color and back switch quite good uh back torso printing you know, well fitting to him and also the cape is nice soft material and also the 501st troopers of which also quite good back torso printing for how it is but yeah and that is about it for that and first off for the builds of which is Grogu's uh, cram it was built kind of similarly to the one that came in the uh, 2022 UCS uh, Razor Crest, and, and I think also in one advent calendar. And like, obviously, but now also with a little dish piece, clear dish piece above to make it look like it's floating and hovering. And, of course, and also do like the use of these uh, like ridge kind of plates on both sides to make it more complete. And also a curved part on top for that. Also, I think there should have been one with a closing feature to it, like in earlier seasons, but 
Maybe that would have been a little too hard to make. And a single jumper pl plate to fit Grogu on into, of course. Although with Grogu in it, it kind of acts a little top heavy. Well, unless you position it in the right place, but yeah. And then next up for the builds is this little lamp post, which is most like, which is just one that's on the side of the Jedi Temple. And, and of course, if there was to be a UCS Jedi Temple, I think it'd probably have a whole lot of this kind of build to it. Yeah. It also kind of takes up as a little bit of the build of this set, of course. But although quite simplistic and well workable. A couple of plates or or corner plates, smooth or or tiles there, and then also, and all of which resting on a four by four plate, right? <coughs> and, and then a little curved jumper plate and a curved brick in there, and then a, a hinge rod upwards, making a full lamp post. Then, and not much to say for that, but that's about it there. And now onto the bark speeder of this set. Well, from first glance, kind of similar to the previous ones, which came in the uh, bark speeder sidecar set in 2013, and then the uh, 501st battle pack in 2020, and then the uh, bat bat shuttle set in 2021. So. And they were all quite the same designs, but but luckily this which has a few different updated designs to it, and also kind of a sidecar build as that 2013 one, but luckily built a little differently. And also, as for these two builds, which can like uh, take apart like so. This bark spear with, which for this front part of which, which almost like the other uh, bark speeders previously, but instead of having a, a newer style a curved plate going downwards, instead just a jumper a slope or just chi slope there. And also has the newer 2022 uh, stud shooters instead of the previous stud shooters, which you can push off and launch like so. And then obviously, and also have the like, uh, snowshoe kind of pieces, but obviously being as extra greeples, also like the previous ones, but also resting on like, little holder kind of bits to it instead of like, uh, hanging brackets and all, or on a hanging bracket, but without any modify plates to do so. And then also have this long curved slope going onwards, also like the other ones. But also with different detailing to it, like a lot of jumpers and all. But then further upwards, also quite the same as that, but and also similar uh, chair design, but the these back engine parts quite a lot different than that. So nice to see there and and unfortunately these uh, three uh, pieces on top all have stickers on them. Same with the sidecar. But luckily, there's very few stickers in this set. And also, see, quite good use of snot here, and also good use of the a globe piece in solid gray, acting as like an engine turbine kind of part, which is great to see there. And then on the back side, which are uh, trans red flat studs. Acting as like the engine boost to it, and then also a couple of, and also a jagged slope, a G slope, and curved slope all taught to make this ridge effect to it. <coughs> and then also do you have, and underneath of which are these uh, clear uh, kind of pieces to it to make it rest quite easily. And, and then these uh, little points sticking out here are for the sidecar for that, which I'll go over right now. And the sidecar here, which also quite simplistic for how it is. 
Because we've been also and quite little, but also quite good use of some pieces. Like got the like uh, uh, curved ed wedge slopes there, but acting as like a big, large, thin kind of part to it, which I see there, and and also another one of those uh, what do you call it? Uh, snowshoe pieces again as a detail lap to it and. Also, you have some like a couple of jumpers on there, and with a curved slope on top of which, and then also this front part of which, which is quite simplistic for how it is, but yeah, and it kind of goes forward just a little bit, and a couple of jagged slopes there, and a large curved slope with a large sticker on it there, and also those the two jumpers on there, which you can either. Or put a whole nother minifig onto it, but it looks quite gappy for how it is, but unless if you modify it slightly, but why spacious is obviously to put Grogu's cram onto it, unless if you remove the clear jumper, or I mean the clear dish piece underneath it, and so it can fit better onto it. Yeah. And of course, looking extra solid with that, and then as for the bark speeder, as for putting color back on it, quite simple. Just seeing on the pairs of pair of studs on that jumper plate on there, and it does add in it almost if he has put the cape up for that. So, and of course, luckily, plenty of room for the cape to be onto, but since it's the soft cloth material, don't have to worry about it getting crumpled up like earlier minifigs, of course. And then can attach together like so. But unlike with that 2013 one where it had where it was like one single connection point to it and you can like uh, spin it around and shoot from the back side. But also, and you wonder, can you like fold it downwards for this? Well, yes, but unfortunately it's the jump, the like, uh, clip joint plates are just at different uh, areas to that. Like, like this, like it should be like one plate lower or one plate taller than that to have like a full range of motion. Because when if you do that, it just makes this part kind of pop off a bit. For that. And so that's the thing. Unless if you modified it a bit to make that work for that. So overall, I think this is which a quite good set for how it is. Like, do you get two more 501st troopers, which obviously for clone army building, and also great great to have a new exclusive mini fig to the catalog being Keller and Beck, of course, and although the build of which may be quite similar to uh, to the previous Bark Speeders, well, but luckily just does have some different uh, mods to it or different added things to it, like different stud shooters and different building areas. So at least it's so luckily not su super repetitive than of previous ones. And, and also, not sure why include the little lamp post for that when obviously they could have been like anything. Although it without the lamp post would have been quite fine as is, but Maybe it's to add in a little bit of extra scenery to this set for that. It's sort of like we had with the mini assembly with the Justifier in 2022, of course. But then, as for the uh, price point of it, like 200 some pieces for $3, uh, which is uh, kind of good for how it is. Well, unlike with most earlier sets, which had like bigger piece counts and at the near same price point but of course but you know this is kind of a different trend of three dollar sets well 
but however, with this set as is a witch, still quite workable for the price point, but yeah. And, and also another cheap way to get Grogu, unlike with uh, Trouble on Tatooine in early 2021, of course. As well, even though that did also come with a speeder bike as well, but yeah. And oh, what else to say? Not much, but yeah. But also great to have a Calder and Beck minifig, like another surviving Jedi to add into the, uh, in any collection of minifigs of Jedi's, but yeah. And so now, if any of you are looking to get this set for your Mandalorian set collection, well, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get Calder and Beck, and also a extra pair of 501st clone troopers, then also definitely pick it up. But it's still quite in the price point of it. Very good for how it is, but yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.